Okay, this is what you end up with. I've cut one of them in half. I stopped to do this. You end up with your two beds. The piece that comes out of the center. That, uh, you can see the wax that is hardening in the bottom of these totes. I thought it say, stayed a thick liquid. But uh, I guess it does harden. Which is why these two are going to be the grow beds. Of less work to clean them if I can cut them open this much. The other two held a, another non-toxic chemical in it. Uh, I can't remember what it is, but you can drink it, <laughs> so it shouldn't hurt the fish. Uh, I did check it out. It is safe. I, I just can't recall the name of it. Uh, any residue rinses away and evaporates, uh, uh, but it is pretty much as safe as, as a chemical comes. Uh, but at any rate, it's an emulsifier or something like that for the wax. It uh, helps it harden and maintain a sheen. Uh, at any rate, this is what I wind up with with my beds. This is the one drawback to doing them this way. Like I said, this way I get rid of both openings. I don't have that hole. I don't have this end. They're both gone. I've got solid halves that will only have whatever hole I put in them for them to drain or whatever, okay? Uh, which is exactly, excuse me, how I want it to be. So the only drawback is you've only got support now for two of your ends. Now if you're using the expanded clay or whatever, it's a lot lighter. These sides are pretty stiff. They might not bow out very much at all. If you're uh, using gravel because of budgetary constraints like I am, they're going to bow out. Uh, but it doesn't take much to hold them back. If I, if I line them up so that the open sides are next to each other, uh, like this, fill them all at the same time they will help restrain each other where they touch in the center right there uh, and I'll only have to worry about the two ends but I did a, a, a when I designed all this I did do a, a layout a two scale and I just can't remember how I drew it I think they are going to be turned the other way so I will have to take I might just get some of these uh, five quarter deck boards uh, 16 foot long and run along the edges of them and that will restrain them just fine. That's the only drawback to doing it this way, uh, as far as I'm concerned. Because like I said, once you do it like this, there's no holes in here. It's all solid. You don't have to worry about that cap leaking or that drain leaking or anything else. It's all solid. The only holes that will be in here are holes that I put in here. So there you go.